Hey everyone, welcome back to episode 15 of Let's Build a Theme Park. I can't believe it's 15 already. So today we're going to be building a fun frog hopper game, but before I do that, let me show you a little change I made. So, I took the torch out from under this block right here where the line enters, and I added a sign that says pull lever to turn on ride. So you just pull the lever, and you ride it, and then you jump. And the ride starts, and then when you want to get off, pull the lever again, ride stops. So, today we're going to be building a frog hopper game, as I previously said. So, how do we build a sea game, you ask? Good question! With logs, and pistons, and all sorts of other stuff. So, I'm going to need some sticky pistons, some repeaters, repeater, repeater, redstone, redstone torch, I'll take some redstone lamps. Okay, so first, I need to build a starting platform, so I need to get a good distance away from that and starting platform. So you start right here. Because this is the starting platform. And we we'll need to make a series of jumps. So first we'll plan out the jumps. First one will be right here, that's a little far. First one will be right here. You jump here. Like that. Second one be three blocks away again. And there'll be two of them. Two options. Okay. Third one. Just two blocks. And it'll be right in the center of those two. And the fourth jump. fifth jump, and sixth jump. Lastly, we'll have another jump right there. So we have another option. I'm going to see if I can make that jump. I can't. So I'll put it there. Can it make that jump? Yes, I can. So, we'll do that. Then we'll have one more big platform at the end before you get to the very end of the course which is right there so this is the end like I said I'm gonna lengthen it so I don't forget so under these right here dig a nice hole under each one put pistons under it Activate them, then deactivate them, and they'll pull the logs down with them. That's good, that's what you want to do. Do the same thing for all four of them. All four of them, there's way more than four. Just like that. You don't actually need to activate them all. That's an unnecessary step that I did, just for fun. This part's pretty boring. I need dirt or grass. I prefer grass because then I can hold it and I can use it for multi-purpose things. I can multi-use it. And these one jumps are really easy. I didn't put pistons there, right? Okay, good. And that would not work because that would just break the mechanisms if I put the piston facing that direction. Then we have our last jump. There we go. So, then, we'll 
connect to this one. To that one right there. The trick to these is they're going to be going up and down. This one will go up and down, and this one will go up and down. Off and on and off and on and off and on. And then we'll go like this. It doesn't matter what direction that it's in or what order it's in. And then that one we're not connecting. So we need to connect to this one. And then we have that. That one we're not connecting to. So we'll connect to this one. And lastly, we'll connect this one. Oopsie, we're not connecting this one. Here we go. So we need to put repeat redstone repeaters on these to make sure that they that the signal does not die. And now, if I put a torch here, all these should pop up. When I destroy the torch, all those should go down. There we go. So now that we know that that works, we will connect all of these to a different strand. So first I'll plan out the connections. There's a connection. There's a connection. There's a connection. Okay. So now dig all of these trenches two blocks deep. Just like this. And fill them with redstone and of course with repeaters. But we do that afterwards. Okay. So. I'm going to go over here. And from right here. Here we go. Destroy the torch, they all go down. Sounds good. Okay. So now then, we need to run this strand around the beginning right here, all the way around over here. This strand will run. Then we're going to put four redstone repeaters at full tick, all the way over like that. Then if I connected them, the wrong thing there. So that would pop up like that. So now you want a simple repeater clock. Right here. You just want to build it. Obviously you want to build it. but <laughs> just want to dig it right here that's a little fast
Okay, so this one needs to go up a little slower. There we go. Ah. Okay, and then I'm going to add an extra repeater to both of them. And I'm going to add another extra repeater to both of them. Need to have enough time to actually jump. There we go. This is better. So, cover up the redstone with grass because you don't want to be able to see it. Here we go. Just like this. Okay. Some of these builds are taking a lot of redstone. But that's okay, because redstone's fun. At least I find it fun. Other people may not find it fun, and that's okay. That's their preference. Redstone can be complex. Okay, so we now need to cover this. Hmm. Does that work if I do that? What about, what if I did this? Then you have this center block right here that just like never changes. For some reason. Well, I see. Whatever. It's a safe spot. There's just like redstone connecting from other places on that piston. Here we go. So, on these sides, I'm gonna go all the way down. So you hit this other side right there, like that. Then same on this side. I'm gonna go all the way down. Whoops. <laughs> like I said, that is way too far. Okay. Here we go. Now I need water. Nice bucket of water. We're going to fill this thing up with water. Just like this. This is hard. Oh no. <laughs> it's like tight. Anyways. Maybe we'll actually meet someone that can do this. If you build this on your world and, and solve it, let me know and I'll congratulate you on my video. So. There we go. So right here, I'm going to put redstone lamps and then tripwire hook. <laughs> String. Hmm. 
There we go. Now when you make it, the lamps light up. And that's fun. Okay. Now, right here I'm going to do a sign that says Frog Hopper. Wool, lime, and cayenne. Oh no, that's not good. It's still working somehow, which is good. Okay, that did not work. I have no idea how that block is still going, but it works. I need redstone. Okay. New safe spot. There we go. Because we lost our old safe spot. Okay. And then I'm going to add another safe spot over here. Got to jump from here and then jump over to here, which is solid. Then I got to make that. No, it was so close. Anyways, whatever. Time for the sign. So I'm going to go somewhat in the middle. And I'm going to make a big line all the way across. To there. Yeah, there. Okay. Bottom is six letters. One, two, three. 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 Okay, so I'll trim one block off from each side. Then I'll trim that like that. And that is five letters. Hmm. So I'll add two blocks on that side. One block on this side. Okay. So now then, I'm going to take something like this. I'm going to make these letters super tight knit together. Okay. So I need to shift this whole thing one block to the right. Because there's not enough room on this side. I'm going to shift it one more block. It's as good as we're going to get. First. I'm going to do the green letters, H, P, and E. Then we'll do the blue letters, O, another P, and R. R can be tricky sometimes. So hopper, and then on top of hopper, I'm going to do frog. So, actually going to off. Actually, I'm going to keep it like this. And now then, we will do that.
then we'll do F. R. O. G. That is backwards. G's have always been difficult for me. Okay, that's even more backwards. There we go. Frog Hopper looks pretty good. So, they need cobblestone walls. That is N, not B. Here we go. Okay. We'll go all the way down. these letters over here and I'll connect these guys okay and then I'll connect this part of the sign down there we go and then I am going to bring the cobblestone wall pillar all the way down. All the way down to there. And I need to fix the R in that. Okay. Here's our frog hopper. I'm going to do a quick exit gate. Right here with some black wool. It'd be really funny if sometime someone made like an exit gate that swirled because there was like that went back and forth and back and forth because there was a line to get out. Yeah, that'd be not good if there was a line to get out. Okay. So we'll do this with a quick line exit. Then we'll put some iron bars on it. All the way around on the sides, everywhere. Okay, good. Still have enough time to do this. If you can actually walk back through this line and you actually have just beaten it, then that'd be a really impressive thing because it's super hard to beat for me. Might not be hard to beat for you, but it would take me a lot of practice, patience, to do this. Anyways, I feel like spruce looks most like the log. So I'll do this. Take sandstone, and I'll make this line two blocks thick. And then on the sides of it, of course, we have stone brick. And I need the iron bars back. Iron bars. Okay, here we go. And then the path will come right there. So there you have it. The frog hopper is complete. So if you have any extra ideas that you'd like to see in the theme park, put it in the comment section. I'll probably add it. So subscribe to Dixnesian, like, and watch more, and I'll see you later. Bye!